Hey Marley. Today I'm going to talk to you in English because this video is for you when you're a little older, when you're old enough to speak English. Ah, I want to let you know how sad I am today, how extremely sad. We were supposed to see each other today, um, but we can't. You're sick. and. Of course you're sick. It happens to your child. This is not your fault. You get sick. And uh, it sounds like you have a fever and you've been sick for a few days. You're throwing up and you don't feel fresh today. So I understand that we can't see each other today. <sighs> I'm so sad because the next chance we have to see each other is two weeks from now. And the last time we saw each other was two weeks ago. So it's going to be one whole month from last time we saw each other to the next time we see each other. And it's so long. It's too long. I'm so frustrated with this situation that this is the position we've been put in. I want to see you every day. I want to take care of you. I'm sad that you're sick and, and I can't help. I want to be there for you. I, I found out you're sick and I wanted to start making soup today. And I know I can't give the soup to you. I want to make you a soup so that your belly feels a little good. And if it's fever and nausea that you have, then I can help. And there's so many millions of ways that I want to help and take care of you and be there for you. I want to be your father. I am your father. And I have been your father in the past when you lived in this house here where I am still. I was good at it. And you felt safe with me. I could see it. I'd feel your body relax when I picked you up in my arms. If you were sick and I was allowed to carry you in the wrap, I felt you fall asleep, safe on my chest, feeling good. There's so much I want to do for you. There's so many ways I want to help you and be a father to you and be a safe space, a safe home for you, and I think you and I are very good at that, and we have that connection, Marley, and we're not being allowed to do it. This is not my choice, and I ask every time I can. I ask it to your mother. I've asked friends or family to help. I ask it to the system every single time there's a chance. And it's just like no one cares. So I want you to know that I care. I love you, Marley, and I care about you so much. And every hour of every day, I'm trying to find ways to be there for you and care for you and give you the things that a father wants to give to his daughter. The things that I think you need It's so hard being forbidden to show you the love that I have for you, to give you the care that is inside me for you. And it makes me so, 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 so hurt that you uh, aren't allowed to experience that. Let me say that in a different way. I want you to have these things. I want you to know my love, to know my care. It's here for you. It fills me up every day. It drives me through the week. It's in my thoughts and in my heart every hour. Ugh, and it hurts that it's not being allowed to get to you. I want you to feel those things. I want you to know those things. 
So there is this video when you're older, when you speak English, if you ever want to know, I am here for you. Always, Marley. Whenever, however. I have so much love and care for you. And I want you to receive that. I want you to feel that. And it's been so hard that I am being stopped from doing that. That I can't. That it's not allowed. That it's forbidden. That um, we can't make agreements on it. I want to agree. I want to care for you. I want to be there for you. I'm trying to send that to you. And it's getting stopped and cut off along the way. So I can tell you about it. I want to be a safe, strong, reliable space for you. I want to be there for you, that no matter what's happening with you, no matter how you feel, now you're three and a half, so you're sick. And in all the other years of your life, whatever problems you have, whatever help you might need, I want to be there to help hold you up. And I'm trying to do that now. I wish with all my heart I could come bring you a soup and read you a book and let you lie on my chest and feel good and strong and know that your fever is going to go away and your papa loves you and everything's going to be fine. So I send that to you over video. I send you these things and it's really hard to know that you're not going to hear this today or feel this today and I want you to feel it so much so just know Marley feel it somewhere if you can maybe some metaphysical way you feel me out there anyways but now when you watch this video and you hear me and understand English well enough whatever age you are I love you. I am sending you my love. I am offering my care. I am doing everything I can to be there for you. And I want you to know that was sent to you. That was intended for you. You deserve it. You deserve the love and care of your father. He sends it to you. He gives it to you. I do not take that away. I will not take that away. I will offer it. I am offering it. I am giving you my heart, my spirit, my attention, my love, my care. I am there with you in every moment. My heart aches for you and for us. My heart loves for you. My heart cares for you. And I send it to you. I give it to you. You deserve this love and care and attention. You deserve this stable, loving, giving contact from your father. And I wish you felt it right now. So I send it right now. And it hurts so much to know that it is being blocked from arriving right now. But it can't be blocked forever. I don't know how to get through this. I don't know when the rules will change. I don't know when there'll be enough cooperation to let me into your life. But I, I am part of your life and I want to be part of your life. And even now separated so much from your life with all of my heart and soul. I do everything I can to make sure you feel and know how much I love and care for you, Marley. You're the beating pulse of my heart. I love you. I care for you. I adore you. I am here for you. You deserve all of that love and care, and it is here for you. Be well, my sket, and get healthy. I'll still make a soup for you. I love you.